on Nat Geo Wild. Tonight's been all about how to get the stink out of your life and how best to do that other than starting from the bottom up. <laughs> so the number one order of business right now, dealing with your pets number two. And today we have some of the newest potty gadgets you need to know about. Well, the first potty gadget we have here is called the Litter Robot. And uh, it's a, basically a self cleaning uh, litter box. And you got your kitty cat, climbs in the capsule, and it's a one button push and it turns like a cement mixer. It so what it's looks... doing essentially is it's cleaning out the clumps and bringing in new litter from the top. Now, after it starts to clean it out, it all collects in this bin down here. Now, the interesting thing is it alerts your cell phone oh when the bin God. is full. So oh my God. There we go. Now we even see in here that there's some clumps. Now, I don't know if anybody's gonna post this on their social media, but it's, yeah. I'm sure there's an option for that too. That's wonderful. Wow. All right. Guys, my first product here okay, is a little is bit more low tech than that. It's called okay. the Catch It Waste Collector. Mm -hmm. And basically what it is, is a poop bag right. on the end of this stick with a trigger on it. And so when your dog is getting ready to go, you oh just kind of run up behind, you pull the trigger and you catch <laughs> all the business and let it go into the bag and then you scoop it up and you pull the bag off. Check this out though, it even has a light on it, oh. which will oh let you gosh. see at night. So, effortless. Yeah, it's effortless. And you know, there are folks out there, you know, maybe elderly people That's who true. don't have the mobility, you know, people with disabilities, that this actually could point. be a really useful tool and help them make sure that they pick up after their dog. When I pick up my dog's poop, you guys, I pick up with the bag, you know, hand in the bag, obviously. Right. I reverse the bag and I squeeze the poop. I know that sounds crazy, but don't we all want to know what's in our dog's poop? I yeah. mean, <laughs> if there's a bone, if there's something that they ate, uh, you know, Q-tips, something sharp, you'll know. So it's really, really a good idea to squeeze your dog's poop. When you pull this up, you you know you could squeeze it on here. Oh, that's true. Yeah, that's, it, true. So. that's true. I'm going to cover you guys what's called pretty litter. This litter is pretty interesting. It actually changes color to oh. alert for potential health problems with your kitty. What we did here is we put a whole bag into the standard litter box, and I'm going to kind of show you what to look for. Um, so I have samples of uh, normal urine. Oop. Okay, it's looking yellow. It's a lot of <laughs> urine, actually. Okay, it's a big yeah. cat. <laughs> it is a big cat. So so then we have this alkalinized urine. This, you know, would be indicative of some type of medical issue. And that's the whole point of this, you guys. So it has actually a color code on the bag to alert you of different medical problems. And the whole idea is if we see a color change that's not yellow or kind of this olive green sure. to, to watch your kitty over the next 24 to 48 hours and potentially take them to the vet. So let's see if this works. Oh, wait a minute. We're getting bluish greens, We're getting bluish green. turquoise. Yep, and so what I'm gonna do here is, in both, I'm gonna kind of mix this, oh, wow. look at that. Jeez, so look at so that. it's getting blue, so it's really getting blue. So this would be indicative of a potential problem. You know, and what Pretty Litter are striving to do is to help us to detect things early in the urine. And so they actually say that this may potentially help us find out if our kitties have lower urinary tract infections, liver problems, if there's blood in the urine, mm. um, any type of kidney issue. So always, 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 if you do see the color change, go straight to the vet. Listen, I think any alert helps. I mean, anything that sounds the alarm, that there's something going on, yeah. and that way it gives you and your veterinarian a different indication. Obviously, it's not a diagnostic tool. Yeah. But it, it may be just a other, sign. Yeah, right exactly. Now. All right, guys, this last one here is called the Shake Dog Potty. Okay, <laughs> okay we've so, got to hear how this yeah. one works. So this, is... this device is basically to replace um, sort of a puppy pee pad, okay. if you will, okay. right? Here's how it works. The dog comes on here. Okay. Does his business. There it is. All right, there's, there's the business. There's right. the business. The business okay. end. So when it's time to clean it, you fold it over, you latch it. Once it's latched, then you okay. take some clean water. You can add a little bit of soap to this if you want, I guess. This water is really what's gonna clean this whole thing out. So oh, I'm gonna perfect. put this plug back in, and then here's where the name comes from. You're gonna really give it a bigger it. shake to kind of wow. clean it out. And then okay. there's another little plug right there, and then you just dump the whole thing, all the dirty water, oh, perfect. into the bucket or a toilet, toilet or a yeah. sink or wherever you wanna get rid of it. Right. And 
its biggest benefit is that it'll allow you to replace disposable pee pads. That's my favorite part about yeah. it. Yeah, reusable. <laughs> oh. Which I like, you know, yeah, again, that's great. conservationist, e I want to make sure. Yeah, yeah we're, I, we're not I'm wasting like, like stuff. That. But I want to yeah. know what you guys think out in our audience. I mean, would you guys use any of these things? Yeah. You would? Yeah. If you want to give these a try, check this out. Everyone here is going home with a catch it waste collector, a sample bag of pretty litter, and the shake dog potty. For more information on these potty gadgets or for more on anything else you saw on the show, go to natgeowild.com forward slash pet talk. Thanks to all our pets and our human guests tonight. And remember, there's nothing stronger than the human-animal bond. We'll see you next time.